I'm a glass blower, and I've been a glass blower for almost 50 years now. I take molten liquid glass on the end of a blowpipe and I shape it into all kinds of objects. When I was a kid, I read science fiction, but I was particularly amazed at the Apollo program going to the moon. And one thing that especially inspired me was the photograph that the NASA astronauts took of our Earth as they rounded the moon. And there was just this little blue marble in the black void of space. Part of what I love is that the things that I'm interested in out in the world, trying to express those things, trying to express what it's like to try to be near a black hole or to see a neutron star. That's all fodder for me. It's all interesting things that I love to try to re recreate in my glass. So I start with clear glass on the inside. I'll gather black glass over that and I'll melt silver on the black glass and silver becomes blue. And then I'll melt a gold ruby glass which turns green when it's exposed to the silver. So the green becomes continents, the blue becomes oceans. And then ahead of time, I make a bunch of little rods and I'll melt those on the surface. And then I'll dip this whole thing back into clear glass so it's all surrounded. And on the next layer, I'll melt a little spaceship that I make ahead of time. And that spaceship will appear to float on the clear glass. And so I continue building up layer after layer from the inside to the outside. I'd gotten a call from a gallery that Mrs. Clinton had given Bill Clinton when he was governor a piece of my work as a birthday present. That was kind of thrilling. I love the fact that you can look at a sphere that I've made and get lost in it. 